What about the conjugate B method? Sa pagpasok ng COVID, ang lahat ng school at review centers ay natigil. Liban lang, of course, sa Padilla Review Center. Ang lahat ay nag-migrate sa online. Iba-ibang pakulo, iba-ibang style. Ang mga estudyante sa pagpili, lalong nalito, lalong naguluhan. Pero para bigyan kayo ng mas clear idea on how we do it, actual, in our online review, we created this channel para nakikita nyo ano talaga ang mangyayari, paano namin ginagawa sa loob ng Padilla Review Center Online. All links are found below this video. But before we begin with our discussion today, please don't forget to visit and to also like our FB page, Padilla Review Center. Nasa baba po ang link. Subscribe na rin po kayo dito sa YouTube channel namin. Huwag niyong kalilimutang i-click ang notification bell, choose all, para lagi po kayong updated and notified sa lahat ng post namin. Para po sa inyong lahat ng nagre-review ito at nag-aaral ng engineering. Pati po yung mga BS Math, lahat po nang nagte-take ng math. Pero hindi po limited sa math. Buong civil engineering specifically ang didiscuss namin kasama po yung ibang subjects sa ibang engineering. Mga common subjects like mechanics and strength. So, kung may mga request po kayo na problem, ipadala lang po dito sa YouTube channel namin and then, isya-shout out po namin yung kung kanino nang galing yung problem na yon and hindi lang siya shout out, isosolve po namin. What about the conjugate B method? In conjugate B method or apparent B method, if this is the actual beam and the conjugate beam, we have the load, the shear, and the moment diagram for the actual beam. The moment diagram over EI or M over EI diagram of the actual beam will become the load diagram of the conjugate beam then the cycle will continue. From load to shear to moment diagram, load to shear to moment diagram, I will be using here prime to indicate that it is for conjugate beam. So the theta of the actual beam is the shear of the conjugate beam. The y or deflection of the actual beam is the moment of the conjugate beam. There is a slight changes in support. The fixed support becomes a free end and a free end becomes a fixed support. Baligtaran. The external hinge becomes an external roller while an interior roller becomes an interior pin. So if we will apply that in solving this problem, we have here this cantilever beam loaded by 10 kN per meter throughout the length of 4 meters and a concentrated load of 30 kN at the end with EI of 10 to the 6 kN meter squared. So same problem as the part 1 of this problem. So we are asked here to find the deflection at B, the rotation at B, the deflection at C, and the rotation at C. So we need the theta at C the y at c and we know by the conjugate b method that would be the shear at c the moment at c in the conjugate beam where m over ei is the load diagram okay of the conjugate beam so kindly review or view the principles behind drawing the shear and moment diagram or the moment diagram by parts so in part one of this lecture so, drawing our moment diagram due to 30, this would be our moment at A, this is A, the support, moment at A diagram. So, you have here 30 times 4, 30 times 4, 
I'll rewrite here, is equal to 120, right? Over EI, our EI is 10 to the 6. So you have over 10 to the 6. So this is 120 times 10 to the minus 6. So our MA over EI diagram due to this is minus 120 times 10 to the minus 6. Now, due to this uniform load, that would be WL squared over WX squared over 2, di ba? So, M over EI is going to be, due to uniform load, WX squared over 2 over 10 to the 6. And this is 10 times 4 squared over 2 over 10 to the 6. And this is equal to 80 times 10 to the minus 6. So this is minus 80. I am putting minus because it is below. Okay? And it is a downward bending. Okay? So 80 times 10 to the minus 6. And we know that for this one, this is first degree. This is second degree because it is W x squared. Okay? So this is the M over EI diagram. The M over EI diagram becomes the becomes the load diagram. So the conjugate beam, this is peak support, becomes a free end. This is a free end, becomes a fixed support. This is just but one beam. I just separated the drawing because I don't want them to overlap. So since this is a downward loading, we will consider it to be, since this is a negative moment, so we will consider it as a downward loading. A negative load, no? Okay? We also know that this is what? 30 times 1 over AI. So this is, this value is 30 times 10 to the minus 6. Well, this one is, what is this? This is WX squared over 2 over EI. I will put the, here the computation, uh, just here. So it is WX squared over 2 over EI. Your W is 10. Your X this time is 1 over 2 over 10 to the... 6 or this is going to be equal to 5 times 10 to the minus 6. Kindly review the part 1 when I discuss the moment equations. Okay, so this one is going to be 5 times 10 to the minus 6. So, for simplicity of computation later, let me solve the resultant of this process. So the resultant of this conjugate forces is this one. For this one, let me call this F1 prime. For this one, let me call this F2 prime. Okay? So for F1 prime, it is the resultant or area of this. It's one half of the base it's for the height 120. I won't put the negative sign anymore. Anyway, it is downward. Or pwede rin natin lagay. Okay? 120 times 10 to the minus 6. And this is going to be equal to minus 240 times 10 to the minus 6. Now, F2 prime is equal to the area of this. This is second degree, area is one third of base 4 height minus 80 times 10 to the minus 6. So this is going to be equal to minus 320 over 3 times 10 to the minus 6. Okay? The negative sign here is our indicator that it is downward. Let us also identify their position. 
this acts at the centroid of the triangle this is one third if this is one half centroid is one third one third of four while this one area is one third centroid is one fourth this is one fourth of four or this is one right if this is one then this must be three meters so this is one meter okay now let us now compute the theta and the deflection at point c of the actual beam we said that the theta at c in the actual beam is the shear at c in the conjugate beam shear is simply summation of vertical forces so from here to here the summation of vertical forces is represented by the resultants so it is f1 prime plus f2 prime carrying their sign it would be minus 240 exponent minus 6 minus 320 over 3 times 10 to the minus 6 and this will be minus 346 or 347 times 10 to the minus 6 and this is in radian the negative sign here is an indicator that theta theta at c is clockwise okay that theta at c is clockwise because a counterclockwise theta is positive you get it okay now that the y at c is the moment at c in the conjugate beam and this is going to be equal to what is the moment at c this is simply minus f1 prime minus f1 prime which is 240 i am carrying the sign huh? 10 to the minus 6 multiplied by the moment arm if this is one third of four this is two thirds of four then plus f2 prime which is minus 320 times 10 to the minus 6 over 3 multiplied by 3 meters so therefore this is going to be minus 960 times 10 to the minus 6 and this is meter or in millimeters minus 0.96 millimeters you follow you get this the negative sign here for yc is an indicator that your deflection is downward you get it so i am just using a universal convention and that's why the load i, I didn't take this as a positive load i took this as a negative load you get it so the moment over ei diagram of actual beam becomes the load diagram you just continue that the cycle load shear moment the next will be theta y for this it would be a second cycle of the shear and moment diagram load shear and moment and take note of the supports if you know this concept this would be the next the beauty of conjugate beam method is uh, you don't have any elastic curve to be drawn and you don't have any other equations to write once you are once you had drawn the m over ei diagram you're ready to go you get it okay what about finding the theta the rotation at b so the rotation at b we said the theta at b in the actual beam is equal to the shear at b in the conjugate beam and this is simply summation of vertical forces so this is going to be equal to from here to here this is the b it would be the area of this because the resultant load is represented by the area so the area of this one from a to b is simply equal to the area of the hole minus this area right 
So it would be the area of the hole is F1 prime, which is downward. Lagyan natin ng sign, ha? Negative. So it is negative of 240 times 10 to the minus 6 minus this particular area, which is 1 half of 1 by 30. So 1 half of 1 by 30 times 10 to the minus 6. So close parenthesis. So plus, which is negative, no? Okay? So this one, F2 prime, which is 320 over 3, times 10 to the minus 6, so minus this portion. Kasi ang kailangan lang natin is yung hanggang from A to B. No? So minus this portion. This portion, this is second degree, so this must be third degree. So minus, this is second degree, area is one third. One third of base, one meter times this one. One third base height, which is five times ten to the minus six. Okay? So, close quantity. So, therefore, the theta at B is going to be minus 330 times 10 to the minus 6 radians. So, this is our theta B. What about our Y at B? The Y at B, according to conjugate B method, is going to be equal to the moment at B in the conjugate beam which is equal to applying the Varignon's theorem the moment of the whole equals sum of the moments of the parts so pwede na nating hindi solve ng separate it will just be the moment also of F1 prime at B you get it? so it would be F1 prime which is negative 240 times 10 to the 6 minus 6 the negative sign already indicates the downward moment no? so minus F1 prime which minus 240 times 10 to the 6 times this moment arm uh, this is 1 third of 4 this is 2 thirds of 4 right 2 thirds of 4 minus 1 meter so this is going to be 2 thirds of 4 minus 1 meter plus Yung moment ng F2 prime, which is minus 320 over 3 times 10 to the minus 6 multiplied by the moment arm. The moment arm is, this is 3 meters, this is 1 meter, so this is 2 meters, right? So, the moment arm of F2 prime about B is 2 meters. So, this is times 2. So, therefore, the Y at B is going to be... So, this is minus 1840 over 3 times 10 to the minus 6. So, this is going to be negative 613.33 times 10 to the minus 6 meter. This is going to be your YB. You follow? So, kailangan lang master nyo yung pagdrawing ng moment diagram, okay? By the way, I am inviting you to enroll in our class for theory of structures. So it is two parts. It is theory of structure one and theory of structure two, or it is sometimes called in other school as structural analysis one and structural analysis two. One is statically determinate structures. Second is statically indeterminate structures you will learn a lot clearly from this program so the tuition fee is so small it's only 500 per course 500 for theory of structures one 500 for theory of structures two we will be starting the program on february 15 pagkatapos ng valentines no so but if you will enroll you will reserve or pay your tuition fee before the date we are giving you a big discount and that is an amount of 800 pesos for two. So, makakasave ka ng 200 for your program. You get it? 
So, I am inviting you to enroll in that program. It will make understanding of theory of structures so simple. From the most simple structure like this to a most complicated structure discussed in your textbooks. So, see you and hope I will be able to be of help to all of you. So, I am Engineer Padilla. Nagsasabing, basta kaya ko, kaya mo. Basta magkasama lang tayo. See you.